The Muppet Show was a variety comedy television series created by Jim Henson that ran from 1976 to 1981. There have been several movies since, and fans continue to love the quirky characters and wonderful music. The familiar theme song's lighthearted style and tuneful melody perfectly fits the quirkiness of the show itself. We had a lot of fun rehearsing and performing Paul Murtha's arrangement of the Muppet Show theme. Kalos Eidos is a programmatic work meant to portray the characteristics of a kaleidoscope. Here's what composer Carol Britton Chambers had to say about her piece. I originally intended to title the piece Kaleidoscope, but as I began to learn more about the origin of the word, I became very intrigued. Most people know that a kaleidoscope is an optical device, or tube, containing mirrors and bits of colored glass or paper. When the tube is rotated, an endless variety of patterns can be seen, but the work itself is derived from the Greek words kalos, beautiful, and eidos, form or shape. The word scope refers to seeing or observing, thereby forming the complete definition, the observation of beautiful forms or shapes. We loved putting this piece together and hope you enjoy it too.
You know, I've never understood the idea of perfect. But then I also don't know what normal means either. At least with perfect, you can understand that it is reaching for something. Although, in truth, it should never and will never be attainable. It doesn't exist. It's the wrong word. It's the wrong meaning. But if I can at least understand the idea of trying to reach perfection... Normal is the most redundant word I can think of. Very few people truly want to be normal. No one strives for normal. And even if they do, do they really have a notion that the concept of normal, which just like perfection, at least to my mind, doesn't exist? We are all different. We are all unique. Maybe the only thing that is truly unifying about any of us is that we are all broken. We aren't normal and we will never, ever be perfect. No one personified this in my lifetime more than Freddie Mercury. I remember him dying and remember him crying almost uncontrollably at his death. I was young, not even a teenager, but looking back, I honestly don't know if my tears were because a hero had died or that I understood the tragedy of how someone so brilliant yet so flawed could leave us here on earth. Nothing articulates the way I feel better than the last song the three remaining members of Queen recorded. No one but you, only the good die young. A tribute to Freddie and all those who die too soon, the line, they're only flying too close to the sun, a reference to Icarus, who in Greek mythology had wings made of wax and perished after flying too close to the sun, despite warnings not to from his father, provides the title of this work. Opening with a perfect fifth, Close to the Sun is orchestrated in such a way that we will never hear a true perfect fifth. The two chords in the winds, simple and beautiful, soon develop and become something different, something changed. Those chords and their development never lose their origins but do alter, do become something different. Not normal, not perfect, but existing in their own beautiful way. Close to the Sun was commissioned by a consortium of schools, universities and organisations and conductors, led by Robert Ambrose and Georgia State University, and is de dedicated in memory of Dylan to my friend Ellie Anderson. Thank you. 
Adolphus Hillstork, born 1941, is an African-American composer whose music often blends European and African-American traditions. He received his PhD in composition from Michigan State University in 1971. New Wade and Water was commissioned by the American Composers Forum and is Hillstork's adaptation of the traditional spiritual Wade in the Water. It uses elements of the blue scale, mixed meter changes, and creative extended phrasing we had a lot of fun preparing this work and hope you enjoy listening to our performance of it.